So it was a cutting aluminum and the chip started building up and didn't go anywhere and um, it seemed like they melted or um, basically it felt like they were plastered onto the end mill. I imagine that's because they're just recutting chips, recutting chips, they weren't moving anywhere. Um, then it got to the point where it was just rubbing through the aluminum, it wasn't cutting. So it doesn't look like it, but the center was going really, really well. Like everything was getting cleared out, cut, and then the chips started building up, building up, building up, and then this happened. I think there's some left on the end while I was using. Yeah, you see, you can kind of see how it looked like the aluminum just melted onto this end mill. It should come right off. I don't think the carbide or the coating were cut. Um, I'm just going to turn it around for now because it's double sided. the other side um, but the reason I'm making this video is this is my very ghetto way to make sure the air gets right here now I'm using since I'm using a straw and the straw is a lot wider than the nozzle coming out you lose a lot of velocity not increase in pressure decrease in velocity um, so I reclose it to something a little smaller than what's um, coming out of the nozzle there. Um, and then I can kind of pinch this more or less depending on how fast I want it to go out. So do that and it's a little smaller now and it generally won't blow open. Um, so I'm hoping this works a lot better. What I'm doing is I'll turn the regulator on. It doesn't need much. So uh, well, it'll start. It'll turn on at the 120 mark, so it's gonna be loud in a second. Uh, but. Yeah. 